now we are looking at the cool shack at the uh, Sipon gold copper mine site and here uh, we were welcomed by uh, Dr. James Gunnar from our previous GOATS graduate and he, he explaining about this Sipon gold copper deposits and also the drill core. Here uh, Sipon is the sedimentary rock hosted gold deposits associated with the uh, copper scan deposits around around the gold deposits. Uh, this is the Tinkham copper scan system at the Sipon gold copper mine and you can see this started with this core of the Tinkham porphyry and then you can see there is a uh, veining of uh, the porphyry forming the potassium alteration here in pink and that's the early potassium alteration and then opa printed by the uh, epitope bearing Philip and propylitic alteration you can see the light green mineral What we found here is the exo scan uh, system here, minerals, the garnet, and here pink garnet. A little bit of sulfide come together with this prograde stages. And then later, overprinted by retrograde assemblages consisting of chloride and epitope and quartz. And here you can see. And in other places, there's uh, a lot of carbonates and also hematite in there and then in that stage retrograde stage uh, a lot of sulfide coming through with this retrograde stage and most of the copper are in the retrograde assemblages forming the checo pyrite here is the uh, major checo site mineral here where the mine it's actually formed from the supaging enrichment of the retrograde sulfide copper bearing sulfide assembly just mainly chakupara and for me here dark friable mineral which we call chakusai and this is where they can mine profitably and this chakusai also form associated with oxide here the, the green uh, the malachite and azurite uh, the, this deposit is sipon deposit is a typical kalin type deposit which is the uh, micron disseminated gold deposit also they call it uh, and mostly the gold is refractory and invisible and you can see in this sample they are hosted in the calcareous carbonaceous shale here they call calc shales and, and in here little micron size pyrite crystal and you can see under the micro so they are mostly 100 micron or 200 micron and then associated with this the car shade and and the, most of the gold are in the pyrite but it turns out our PhD student Paul Kromi work on this deposit and um, using the LISA ICB mesh technique and then the gold he found is like carlin the gold and arsenic are at the rim of the pyrite and in this sample Although we don't see the free gold, this could be 20 gram, 30 gram button gold, which is very good exploration target for the, for the mining and exploration company. Now we are looking at canal copper deposit, mainly of now super gene enrichment so so just to recap canong is about 27 million tons at four percent copper uh all uh, super gene so the chalcocyte and the and the malachite the styles of mineralization where we were up there is what the hypergene precursor mineralization may have looked like uh and down here we're in the well we're in the in the primary rock now there's no mineralization here but above us uh, was the supergene mineralization. Most of the 
Nalu, uh, the can uh, where my Canon deposit sits in the Nalu formation and also in the top of the Ken Cook formation. So most of the mineralization is here, but saying that up on these walls around us, we've got also got rocks of the, uh, the Vang Yang formation. And further right up the top is the highway formation. So it's quite a compressed piece of stratigraphy here at Kanong. And we are right down here somewhere in the pit, in the bottom of the pit. So there's a major sort of east-west-ish structure that sort of runs along the, the base of the wall and uh, that's this one. And the, this east-west trending structure is, is, is bringing all the sulfides in the system. But it's, it's a major fluid conduit. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. but probably there are more of this structure here right in the Nalu Dolomite, but it's all destroyed. It's, 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 you cannot see it anymore. It's all like turned to this clay oh, and, and the rest. So it, it's, there might be more of this structure, but because this is in the foot wall, in the silicic plastic, which is more resistant to this uh, mineralization, mm -hmm. it only has like zones of two, one or two meters of, of, of shear and uh, sulfides, but it's different than as in the carbonates where it's all gone. Now we are looking at uh, Tinkham uh, Gobago scan systems at the Sipon Go Copper Mine. And at the back, you can see the Tinkham intrusion. And around the intrusion, there's a prograde scan assembly, just a lot of garnet uh, and a lot of magnetite and chakuparite, the high temperature prograde assembly. And this part is called Tenkwai deposits, which appear to be the distal part of the scan system. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so here's the big Tenkham intrusive center, and this is very strongly stock worked RDP like we saw in some of the drill holes yesterday and that's the top of that hill up there and uh, this is the pit we're standing just here now so there's this pit here in front of us and there's this other pit behind us down there the orange one is the Namkian formation consisting of uh, calcareous black shale and discovery nodular black shale this is the RDP body. So you can see this porphyry in the wall over there, that white in the wall. But the gold is actually focused along this structure. It's just the very, it's a bit hard to see, but that little dashed line is a, is a fault zone. Uh, and that's sort of what's controlling the, the gold, uh, localizing the gold mineralization in this, in this pit, in the Namkian and partly in the Discovery Formation. This deposit is they call Huiyan um, deposits and currently uh, discover a uh, few, few years ago. And this is very interesting slide of gold mineralization. Normally the gold in the Sipon is hosted in the Carbonisha Cateria shales and micro -desaminated. This one is, is a cast field deposits. And then also James is explaining how difficult to find these deposits. We had very little surface outcrop. This is closet. So there was basically no gold anomaly in the surface. There are about 20 holes in the whole area. And we drilled this one because we saw this gas boy, so we thought like maybe we could do that. And we put in, there was another hole over here. And these two holes both got like 20 meters and 10 grams. So it was like, wow, this is excellent. So we drilled 50 infill holes, and the highest we got in 50 infill holes was 2 meters and 2 grams. Yeah, so 50 more holes infilled in this area, and we just got nothing. So we nearly gave up. You know, we nearly said, okay, there's a little, very small pods here, but they won't be economic. And it's only when we changed the drilling direction and infilled to about to 25 meter spacing that we, we uh, uh, could, you know, get, sort of get a better understanding and, and actually
Here we are coming back from the Sipo mine and then back to the Savannah Cut here and ending our SCG field trip and all very happy uh, here is the sunset.